Hey folks, it's your Hedge article. In addition to all the serious stuff going on, and of course we got North Korea going on as well, China threatens to bomb North Korea's nuclear facility if it crosses Beijing's bottom line. So now uh, China has a bottom line, has a red line, and uh, they're buddy buddies with North Korea, but now uh, they are tightening the noose on North Korea. So this is going to be there's a lot of pressure on King, Kim Jong Un now, and uh, if he is backed into a corner, maybe he will do something a little crazy. With everyone putting down new or revised red lines, be it on Syria or North Korea, it was now China's turn to reveal its red or rather bottom line. And in a harshly worded editorial title, the United States must not choose a wrong direction to break the DPRK, DPRK nuclear deadlock on Wednesday. Beijing warned it would attack North Korea's facilities producing nuclear bombs. That could uh, cause all sorts of trouble as you have a whole bunch of fallout exploding from that uh, facility, effectively engaging uh, in an act of war if North Korea crosses China's bottom line. The editorial in the military-focused uh, Global Times tabloid, owned and operated by the Communist Party, said North Korea's nuclear activities must not jeopardize northeastern China, and that if the North impacts China, it will elicit nuclear tests uh, with its illicit nuclear tests through nuclear leakage or pollution, and this is inevitable, then China will respond with force. China has a bottom line that it will protect at all costs, that security and stability for Northeast China. If the bottom line is touched, China will employ all means available, including military means. By that, by that time, it is not an issue of discussion whether Chinese acquiesces in the U.S.'s blows, but the Chinese People's Liberation Army will attack, uh, will launch attacks on a DPRK nuclear facilities on its own. Now, Russia threatening a uh, preemptive nuclear strike on North Korea. Things are uh, ratcheting up. This is an editorial that uh, puts it, it puts its bottom line for China. Should it be crossed, China will employ all means, including the military means to strike back, warned the editorial. <clears throat> so here's a, a picture of um, a nuclear reactor here. It is worth noting that uh, noting is that shortly after publication, the article seems to have been retracted without explanation. The URL now returns an, a 404 error. However, uh, before the original article was cached on the webpage owned by China military, courtesy of Google. So significant. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to go on. You can read this article, uh, but significant uh, rhetoric coming out of China, uh, threatening military response um, should uh, North Korea uh, not stay in line, and they were uh, cooperating buddies, of course. Uh, but China is uh, getting uh, a little bit worried about the, the nuclear test that North Korea is doing. So now China is significant, and the U.S. wants China on board. If the, if the world, the U.S. and China, and Russia can get on board with North Korea, then we may see a preemptive strike, uh, some agreement between them to uh, basically neutralize North Korea. And uh, that's going to uh, cause some significant nuclear fallout, I would think. Uh, weapons going off in, in nuclear weapon facilities uh, like this and uh, could be the trigger of World War III. Uh, so again, another uh, demonetizable video uh, for, for YouTube to handle. Um, significant news, we are heading into uh, wars. We are seeing wars, rumors of wars. Lord is returning soon. I think we maybe have a couple of years, but um, things will escalate um, into the start of the seven-year tribulation, and I think that's coming very shortly in the next couple of years. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.